Okay, so I got the uh, camera right where I want it, so we're going to take uh, this 20 off here. We're going to replace this one. It's worn. You know which one that is? Yeah. Nice I just don't want to touch that live bus block. That's a sump pump. Yeah, right. There. It did come out. Yeah. That's the most one of the the most critical one. Yeah. Sump bump. And that's the backup one that is telling us the power is up. Okay. Okay, next one out. Okay, so then and that one. And I'm going to clip this shoot up wire off. So I clipped off that shoot up wire. Okay. And I'm going to strip off. That was actually a pretty clean looking unit compared to the others here. Okay. Your recommendation is throw them all away then, the old uh, one? Just hold on to them. Yeah. As what, a backup just in case? or Yeah. Just amazing the attraction you've had to electricity and wiring and since the early days of your life, remembering even the church job you did, uh, putting a, what, an outlet in the choir. Yeah, I remember. Dad sang, I forget if your mom did too. And I wonder if that outlet is still up there. Well, they wouldn't take it out, there'd be no reason to. This one's a 20, so we'll take, so we're placing these three here. We'll take this one out. These circuit breakers do wear out sometimes. Yeah. It's not that they've been tripped very often over the years, I might add. This wire's not all that chewed up, but I'm going to straighten it out so it's a nice, okay. clean cut. And it does look like there is some insulation that could have gotten in under that terminal, so I'm going to just re-strip the very end there so it's clean. Okay. I'm going to cut it back a little bit. Smart way to do it there. I'll get a quick picture of you at this point. Flash. There you go, work. I know watching this old house, you see their master electricians on occasionally showing how simple a job is when you're, you've got the experience they have and they're explaining carefully what they're doing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now, if I was wiring this box from scratch, everything would have been square cornered and neat. Yeah. Well, God only knows who did it in those days. I assume an electrician. Marvelous. Okay, this is the 15. We're going to put this one in last, so I'll leave okay, it up here. Okay, all right. All right, shut this 20 off. I know if I were doing this job, the power would be off. I'd have enough lights here, and that'd be the only way I'd do it. Here's the old one. Okay. Marvelous. Okay, that wire's chewed up on the end, so I'm going to clip that end off. So 
curve there, so I'm going to straighten it out so it's neat. Do you want to get that other one out of the package, that other 20? Yep. I stripped the wire the length of the uh, terminal bit in there and I slide the wire down into it. The old one. Okay, and here's the, you wanted the 20 yet or not, or yeah, which way? This is to Okay, the 20. See how that end gets chewed up on that other style? Oh, yeah. So I take and clip that off. Outstanding. Nice and neat. It's called doing it right. Do it right the yes. first time. Oh, this one is that same kind of a terminal. A, see, this is a little different, it's okay. like the other ones. So you slip the wire into the hole. The insulation does not go un into the hole, just up to the bottom of it. And it's just tighten it then, mm -hmm. instead of under a screw, right? Yeah. I'm holding the wire down in the terminal with my hand up here, and I tighten up the screw, make sure it's tight. Now this is the last one of the single poles. I'm wondering if even Snells would be quite as careful as you are here. I don't know. Because no. I see a lot of licensed electricians do very sloppy work. I don't want to say any names on camera. Well, you know, uh, even the fellows at Hometown Garage said, we always recognize our own work when it comes to electrical work. You're right about the light there. In one stable position, that's better. Yeah. Okay, I'm just getting that insulation up to the bottom of the terminal, and I want to make sure it doesn't get under the terminal. You know, I'm thinking of putting the 30 in there for the dryer, just the heck since I have it here. Okay, we'll do it. square cornered into the box if I was doing it. So the 60 amp switch is the one that really sends it to both sides of, what do you call it, the yeah. bus? Yes. So B-U-S-S or B-U-S? B-U-S-S. Okay, so let's Go out and shut this off because I'm going to do that 60 next because this will be in the way. So. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna... That's going off. You'll keep that on. Yep, I'm going to pause the camera a minute. Right. All right, the two last ones we have are... Okay, so now we're going to replace this big 60 here. Marvelous. Hey, that connection wasn't even tight. 
Don't tell me. On the wire, you mean? Yep. Hey, that one wasn't even tight either. Can you imagine all these years? Mm. That wasn't even tight. Son of a gun. That's the critical one, too, of all. Yeah. Obviously, it worked, but not, not that, that's not the best. Right. Okay, there's the Okay. One. Oh my gosh, look at the wires there. That is heavy duty. Mm -hmm. Holy. And a strand was even out of the terminal there. Oh, jeez. I have to get my Oneida electrical consult, and that's you here to correct what uh, 50 years ago. I don't think it's quite 50 years old because they didn't really have circuit breakers. Popular. Well, I, see, I know the house was built in 69. That's the key thing, 69. So that's 30, 51 years ago. Okay, let's see the other breaker. Okay, you want the 60 now? Yep. Well, we get to decide which is which. I can't even tell right here. Okay. This one is the 60. 60, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to hold the light. For yes, right, so you can see it on this side. Okay. Okay. Okay, but keep it back. That oh yes, right. So it doesn't get any way of my camera. Okay. okay, back. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay. okay. Holy so, crow! Look at that. So I'm gonna open these terminals up so I can get the wires in. Okay, you want to hold that a second there? I'm gonna get a shot of that, the big one. How's that when you have it? Yeah. And that one sense that alone, discovering that it was not really tight. Right. it even fits in. Okay, and that did work to in with the pliers. So it's too this. big, uh, is that it? The wire's too no, big? No, they're all straight out. So. Yeah. So I'm kind of like flattening down. Yeah, that's all. right, and that's a trick, isn't it? And see how they're not even cut even there? See how yeah, those are? Right, off? right. So I'm going to take and cut them off so they're all even with the shortest one. Well, that's an awesome piece of equipment. Yeah. That looks like a $30 piece there. Yeah, and do you have an X Acto blade? I want to re cut the end of this. Because yours it. won't cut it there, right? No, I want to cut the insulation. Well, I'm yeah, gonna... I mean the insulation. Uh, okay, I'm going to score around it. I'm going to score with this here. This will do a better job. There's still... Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Now we have them all nice and even. See how they're all nice yeah, and even right. now at the end? Yep. Now I'm going to cut the insulation back. Now I'm just scoring it going around here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just see if I can break the insulation off. Surgically, you're doing a surgery. Oh, I'll get the light back. Hold yeah, on. right. I think the blade would be better. I'll go get it from the garage. Okay. It is so good we're doing it at this time of year where we don't need to worry about sump pump. There. Look at that. Awesome. Breaking it all off. There, it was scored. Look Closer. at that. Straighten all these strands back up again. And 
let's see if we can get them in the terminal now. You know what? This terminal is too small for that. Oh my god. Well, let's put the old one back in. See. Maybe it was just the loose, such of being so So loose. it just will not accommodate it, will it? No. So let's Is that the bigger of the lines? Yeah. Darn it. So let's put the old one back in, because since those connections are loose, I'll just look and make sure it's not corroded on the new one. Yeah. Or on the old one. Is that the they same? They don't one? seem to be that much different. Yeah, it's a 60. It goes in. Okay, so I'm going to put this one. On the, okay, I'll hold this. Okay, that's yep. going to fit in there. Okay. So I'm going to restrip this other one. Yeah. The other one doesn't look too bad, so I'll just straighten that back up with my okay. pliers. Okay, the light, the light. It would have been nice to say, hey, I got them all replaced. Of the older stuff. Okay, now I'm ready for that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on the top one. So I'm gonna put it in the like this. Does it in any way matter if you mix them up at all or no? No, it's 240 and it doesn't really matter if it's okay. So figured. See why they weren't able to get all the wires in. It's tricky tight. It is tricky. You can see how they struggled, yeah. So that's why they wouldn't want to have done it with the power on. Oh my lord, no. <laughs> is great. Yes. I went in the first time. I'm going to loosen that up, open that screw up a little bit more. Annoying as it is, and it's a tight fit. You just take your time and do it right. You don't want to yeah. force it in. Still not quite going in, is it? No. There it goes. Super. Patience and persistence. I want to make sure it's in all the way.
That was loose too to begin with. And this one's going to be on the bottom. Looks like what, eight or ten wires there together? Strands, yeah. Yeah. Remember the era of around 1970, aluminum wires. My yeah. parents had a home with them. Didn't feel safe. I don't know how we do these things. Yeah, this one's going to be another tricky one. Yeah. Whoops, you're too quick in my camera. Oh, right? oh, wait, yeah. Just doesn't seem to want to fit. Just a, a intolerance. And all that it's stuff. close tolerance. All that stuff in the way doesn't yeah. help either. There it goes. Thank God, yes. Whoops, it popped up. I guess the 60 came from uh, Carpenters, didn't it? Yeah. That'll be the return one. Jeez, it's a shame they just designed them so darn tight. Yeah. Now watch me not be able to get this back in. Oh, one wire strand came out. Yeah, a strand came out, and I don't like it. So we got top one or bottom one? The bottom. I'm going to try to fix it after I put it in. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That one should have been on the top and the other one should have been on the bottom. Oh, is that why we're struggling? No, it's... It 
easier to forget and do it wrong than it is yeah. to. So you go back to ground zero and start over, right? That's what you do, right? Yeah. Getting it right. We might have to cut a couple strands out yeah. to make it fit, but I don't like that though. Send it here. But sometimes you have to do what yeah. you don't want to do, right? But I'm going to try very hard not to do that. A, a desperation measure. what you don't want to do. There's no way to change this wire, too. And there's not a lot of it, is there? No. Wiggle room. This one, I one on the bottom, and this one on the top. Okay, so let's see the breaker again. Put my back. So this one's the one I'm going to put on the bottom. You know what? We're going to have to do what I don't want to do. Cut a couple strands off to yep. make it fit. Just isn't doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this camera.